So that is uh, the same thing happened another time uh, with the Sun Deva. Sun Deva also was caught by this huge Rahu, and the same thing happened. Uh, now, in the suttas, uh, we find uh, that one of the previous Buddhas was called Kakusanda Buddha. And because he was preaching the Dhamma and bringing people out of samsara, Mahara, Satan uh, was very angry, uh, was, uh, wanted uh, the Buddha to stop his work. Uh. So he tried ways and means uh, to stop the Buddha and did not work. Uh. Whenever he, he tried, uh, the Buddha would tell his disciples, uh, Mahara is trying to do this, Mahara is trying to do that, so he don't react. Uh. So he found that uh, he could not succeed. Uh. He got so angry. One day when Kakusanda was walking on arms around, uh, this most senior disciple behind him, uh, his Mahara got into somebody's body, took a big stone uh, and came from behind and whacked the monk uh, from the back uh, until his head was bleeding all over with blood. Uh. And uh, Kakusanda Buddha probably thought that's enough. Uh, turned around uh, and stared at him, uh, what is known as the elephant look. Uh, <laughs> stared at him uh, and immediately Mahara died and ended in hell. Uh, is the Buddha being unkind? <laughs> Hmm? The Buddha probably thought uh, you stop here and now. He probably did not want to stop. Uh, he probably wanted to do some more. Uh, and he immediately died. Uh, so in the same case, uh, like just now, the Buddha gave an instruction. He stopped doing it. He doesn't want to stop. So he has, he has to beat the natural karma of going to hell. Hmm. But it's better for him to go to hell now. Instead of creating some more evil karma against the Buddha and his disciples, and then he'll go to hell for a much longer time, right? Uh, so, who was this person? He went to hell, huh? was reborn in hell, then he said huh, that he had a fish head and a human body in hell. And after suffering for a long time in hell, huh, he came back to the earth, to the human uh, realm, and re was reborn as Mahamogalana. <laughs> Mahamogalana, Mogalana the Great. Mm. Yeah. So the, the Mahamogalana was talking about his previous life. Mm. But sometimes uh, we see like this, uh, we don't have the wisdom, uh, we think, oh, this person acts in such a way, he's not compassionate. It's not so. Uh, now, another thing I'd like to say uh, is that in one of the suttas, the Buddha said uh, that, uh, I think somebody asked him, uh, is it better uh, if somebody does something uh, praiseworthy, we praise him, and somebody does something wrong, uh, unpraiseworthy, or some, some big fault, uh, then uh, instead of uh, saying, that, uh, saying the truth uh, that this person did wrong, and he, all that, uh, that uh, we are more compassionate now. Uh, we don't speak ill of others. Uh. The Buddha said, No. The Buddha said, uh, If somebody is worthy of praise, we praise him. If somebody is worthy of dispraise, uh, then we dispraise him. Uh. The Buddha was uh, very blunt, uh, like all Aryas. Uh. Black is black, white is black. Uh, uh, black is black, <laughs> white is white. Uh. They don't, uh, they don't, Bokong in Siwa. And speak sweet words. Uh, so like Maha Kasapa. Maha Kasapa is not really popular uh, with lay people uh, because he's very blunt. Uh, one day in the in the Vinaya books, uh, uh, this Venerable uh, Ananda, at that time, Venerable Ananda was more than 80 years old after the Buddha had passed away. And he was walking with a big group of disciples, about 1,000 monk disciples, and going here and going there. And Mahakasapa scolded him, you small boy, what are you doing? Walking around all over the place eh? with 1,000 disciples and eh? making it difficult for the lay people to feed you. Because if you walk with 1,000 monks, eh? you go to a place eh? to ask for food, eh? it's difficult for the lay people to feed. Eh? So you see, so blunt. Then Mahakasapa, uh, this member Ananda said, Bhante, I'm old already, my hair is already white, and he called me a small boy. <laughs> Again, he shouted at me, small boy. 
too easy. Arahan also can speak like that uh, because uh, uh, they are very blunt. Uh, so in the same way, in the suttas, uh, we find uh, that the Buddha has called this external sect a sect reader called Makali Gosala Buddha. The Buddha said that fool, Makali Gosala Buddha, teaching a dharma. Uh, because this fellow, this Makali Gosala Buddha, he says there is no karma. When you say there's no karma, people can do what they like, right? They're not afraid of any consequences. So the Buddha said this fool Makali uh, is leading people uh, into the woeful plains. Just like a fish trap, uh, you know, you, you make all this bamboo and you lead all the fish uh, into the, into this, uh, what do you call it? What's the name for it? Pukat or something. Kevam. Kevam. Uh, Kevam. Uh, they cannot come out of it. So Buddha said the same way this fool causing people to go to the woeful plane. So the Buddha also was very blunt. Uh, so, also, the Buddha also said uh, in the Anguttara Nikaya that what is Dharma, we, we should say is Dharma. What is what? A Dharma against the Dharma, we should also speak out. Uh, the Buddha said uh, we should not be afraid to speak out. Uh, but then uh, if you speak out very often, you are unpopular. Uh, so the Buddha also was unpopular actually during his days. That's why in the Sutta, the Buddha said, I don't quarrel with the world. The world quarrels with me. He who speaks the Dhamma does not quarrel with the world. So we have to be blunt.